Okay, this is going to be another video on the Browning Mark III relay not keying up only just trying to help out a customer who I repaired her Mark III and then it was working and he said a few days later the uh, relay wasn't engaging so um, going to show how to test the voltages for the relay and this time it's powered up um, and it's high voltage that goes to the relay so um, look at the first video um, first on how to test it unpowered which actually should do the trick but this one is just going to show you how to test it with the uh, radio powered up um, you don't need a receiver you know hooked to it um, I hooked the dummy load to it because when I key it down, you know, I don't I don't want to have a uh, infinite bad match and take out something else. And you'll need, you know, um, a mic or something to actually key it up with. And this one works. So all the vi uh, voltages and everything is going to be where it's supposed to. And um, I got a foot switch, so I'm going to key down the foot switch. And you can hear the relay kicking in so we're just gonna measure the voltages right quick um, and we're gonna start right here at this junction with the um, two high voltage diodes here and then uh, this resistor here and if I can get a good contact I got 400 volts keyed up. I keyed it down. It dropped to 345. Anywhere around there is fine because, you know, it doesn't take a lot to key the relay. Then it goes through this resistor. I believe that's R59. So I'm on the other side of it, and I should have about the same. 387, 310 keyed down. Then I'm going to go, mine is underneath this resistor here. That's underneath it, this little 1K 2 watt resistor underneath. Now I moved this because when I recapped it with a uh, different style can cap, I moved stuff around so yours might not be in that place. I think it's normally over here. But this has moved that little 1K, the other side of it. And if I can get a good connection, got 360, keyed down to 280, and then it goes out of that one through this um, 22K big 10 watt resistor here, and that goes into the um, relay, that's the high voltage up there, but I'll just put my um, lead, the other one's on ground again. Got an alligator kip the ground, and I got 360 going into the relay, unkeyed. And we key it down, it drops all the way to 90. I think that's a 90 hundred volt relay, so it's getting about, you know, what it's supposed to. So that's the voltage going into the relay. 360 or so, give or take. Um, unkeyed, key it down. It's going to drop it down to 90. And then on the other side of the relay, unkeyed, that yellow line, let me switch hands around. Be careful if you're going to do this hot. That's, you know, 350, 400 volts playing around to this relay. And um, it's almost, besides them resistors, it's, you know, directly connected to the high voltage. So be careful. So that's the other side. It's 360 coming out the ground side, but that's what it's unkeyed. What do you think that's going to read when I key it up, right? Zero, because it's putting the ground on that when it keys it up. So that side, if everything's working right, when you key it up, you should have voltage coming out and then it grounds it when you key it up and you said how the same thing at the mic jack here and you got you know 350 at the mic jack and that's why if you play around with that microphone and 
touch it or you know ground it out while you're playing with that mic jack you'll get 350 volts you'll get a good shock um, out of these brownings because there's nothing in line like a tube or or, or something to um, knock that voltage down on it and then I'm connected to the mic jack and again hitting my foot switch you can use a microphone to key it but I only got two hands I got a camera in one and um, my lead in the other that's why I'm using a jumper too because um, I don't have a third hand and that's why I'm using a a foot switch but I guess if you're not making a video of it you can use two hands so anyway that's all the voltages to a um, Browning Mark III for the relay if you got voltage over here on the hot side and you got nothing coming out of here on the uh, ground side it means the uh, relays open it's bad or it's not seated in there properly um, clean the contacts but usually if you got you know hot coming in on that side on the hot side off this resistor and you got nothing coming out see I got the 360 coming out when it's not keyed up you got nothing coming out you got an open relay more than likely so anyway that's it on my uh, tips on how to diagnose a Browning Golden Eagle Mark III and actually the other Brownings pretty much work the same way just the um, parts in the re are being different areas and the resistances might be different but it's gonna be the same principle on um, on on the other brownings all right that's this for this one hope it helps my customer all right bye